What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Daily Dose. We got some good things to talk about and I know some of the things you guys think I'm going to talk about I'm not covering in this video because I got to mention I'm making a video for it tomorrow. Those things are I know about the Harley Quinn Gotham City Sirens movie coming out. I'm going to make a whole video about that tomorrow. I was going to include it in the Daily Dose but it's just too much to talk about. I will be giving my opinions on that in a whole separate video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications because that's all happening. I also know about, you know, In Development is a Deadshot spinoff movie and Suicide Squad 2 is also in development and Warner Brothers. So I will talk about those things later, mainly the Harley Quinn thing tomorrow. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now let's go ahead and jump into everything else that is in The Daily Dose. First things first, since we're already talking about the DCEU and their movies, Aquaman has officially cast its villain and it will be Ocean Master. And that person playing Ocean Master is going to be Night Owl himself from Watchmen, freaking Patrick Wilson. That's right guys, we have officially got the villain and actor who will be playing that villain in the Aquaman movie has been confirmed to be Ocean Master, which depending on which comics you're reading is the brother to Aquaman or half brother who wants to always take over the throne from Aquaman. And there's been some pretty badass issues for this. Specifically, the New 52 stuff is really good, in my opinion, for Aquaman. And I think that's what they're going to draw from for this movie. So we should get some pretty epic battles with Ocean Master. But I think it is pretty awesome. And this is something we've been watching a lot for, or we've seen a lot of, that they are getting people from the Watchmen universe or the Watchmen movie and taking some of those actors and bringing them into these newer movies, which I was a really big fan of Watchmen. So seeing some of these actors return for other super superhero roles I'm pretty down for it. and I like Night Owl's character and I think he's gonna be pretty badass to be Ocean Master. It should also be noted that this casting is more than likely because Patrick Wilson has worked with uh, James Wan in a lot of his recent projects like The Conjuring and Insidious and Jason Wan has said that you know Aquaman is going to have kind of like a horror film vibe because you know it deals with the ocean there's a lot of shit we don't know about the ocean and you know Aquaman has dealt with sea creatures and all that kind of stuff so you know there's gonna be a little bit of a horror element to this movie along with the badassery that is you know Aquaman and everything like that so I think it's gonna be pretty awesome to see what a horror director take on a superhero movie is and James Wan has always said that a dream of his was to make a superhero movie he's starting to bring in his actors I think this is gonna be pretty awesome and he's made some really amazing movies so I can't wait to see what we're gonna get from Aquaman it's just awesome to see that we finally got a villain when a lot of people were thinking it was gonna be Black Manta 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 can't talk ever but a lot of people thought it would be Black Manta because that is his you know his main rival and through a lot of the comics but it's gonna be pretty awesome they're gonna start off with Ocean Master I can't talk you see but it's pretty awesome that we are going to start off with ocean master and more than likely see black manta in future sequels which is awesome and hopefully black manta i was kind of hoping it was actually going to be black manta at the start because then he could have went from aquaman to suicide squad 2 because he's actually a part of the suicide squad as well and i thought that would have been pretty badass to see him in suicide squad doesn't look like that's going to happen either way he could be in suicide squad 3 or whatever they do after that so i don't know i'm just really pumped for this because man, I'm just so excited to start seeing other DC characters finally getting their own movies. Staying with the DCE news, we got a little update from Ben Affleck himself about the Batman movie. And he is still sticking to his guns on saying that he is not in any hurry to make this movie and that the script needs to be perfect. And he's not going to move forward on this movie until the script is perfect. And his reasoning behind it is something as a creator that I absolutely love. And he doesn't want to make it until he's comfortable with it. And he wants to make sure that it is a Batman movie that people will love for years to come. And he mentioned how the Tim Burton's movies were great, how the Nolan movies were great. He wants to be, you know, remembered like the Christian Bale Batman. He wants to really make this movie one of the Batman movies that people are going to still be talking about like 20 years from now. And I totally respect that. I don't think you should rush movies if you're not going to make them the best they can be. And since it's Batman and it's Ben Affleck, Homeboy has won Oscars. I will wait for many, many years if they are going to give me just a super epic Batman movie. So I'm in no rush to see this. I can watch all the other ones. We got Justice League movies coming out. Batman will probably appear in every movie there is. So you're going to get your Batman over the years. I can wait for this Batman movie, but I'm totally, you know, one of the many people that is totally okay with Ben Affleck waiting forever to make this movie. Since we're on the topic of Batman, I want to talk about a channel you guys have might already heard of, and it's called The Hacksmith, because this dude is awesome. Like, 
Homeboy is making real life Batman gadgets. He just made a Batman grappling hook gun with the gun and everything and he shot it up at a building and was able to like make it catch onto buildings. Dude is awesome and he's made batarangs and a real repelling gun. For, it's awesome. You need to see this dude's stuff. Like, this is the guy that you were hanging out with when you were little, and you're like, man, I wonder if a Batman could be really real and, like, make those gadgets and stuff like that. This dude, okay, like, what's going to happen in the future is there's eventually going to be a kid who his parents, him, and walking down a freaking alley, and they're going to have billions and billions of dollars, and he's going to break in. You know, the parents are going to get murdered. This kid's going to want to become Batman. This dude is going to be making his gadgets. I'm not even kidding. You guys need to go check out his channel. I'm just, like, super nerding out about it. I've seen him for a while, but I just saw that he made the grappling hook gun, and he's in the process of making it workable to be able to repel up buildings, guys. Like, this dude is awesome, and he doesn't just do Batman. He's made Captain America Shield. He's made a bunch of stuff. Definitely go check out this guy's channel. Subscribe if you are into, like, nerdy builds and stuff, because this guy is awesome, and I can't get enough of this channel, because it's just so awesome. He's bringing real-life comic book gadgets to life. Next up, let's go ahead and talk about some video game news, because there is a game that some of you might still be playing, and you might be excited about this news, and that is that Pokemon Go has finally got new Pokemon. That is right, Pokemon Masters out there. Pokemon Go has finally introduced this second gen of Pokemon, and a lot of people are already confirming that they're getting them. From my understanding, you're not able to catch them yet. You're only able to hatch them in your eggs, so you better start get walking. Better start get walking. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about anymore. You better start walking to make sure those eggs start hatching. Eggs? I can't talk right now. For those eggs to start hatching. But if you are still playing Pokemon Go, you guys have a whole other, what, hundred? It's second Gen was like 100, right? If you're OG like me, you stop playing after 150 Pokemon because you're like, what? I only know about the first 150 Pokemon. Every other Pokemon after that are wannabes. Get out of here. But seriously, let me know in the comments if you guys are still playing this game. What is your level? Have you caught all 150 of the originals? I stopped playing like at level 23, I think is where I was at. I might be 21 or 22. I'm not too sure. But I didn't get anywhere near 150. I don't even think I broke 100. But let me know if you're going to continue playing with this. I mean, it's pretty cool. I have a crap load of eggs. I'm just waiting for it to be on the iWatch so you can just walk and I can just not have to worry about opening the damn game every time and stop catching Pidgeys and Rattatas everywhere. This next thing is kind of sort of related to video games because we got a second trailer for the upcoming Assassin's Creed movie and this movie looks legit. Are we finally, guys, are we finally going to get a video game movie that doesn't blow big donkey dick? Seriously, all the video game movies always suck and nothing ever lives up to the awesomeness that is video games. But with all these studios finally realizing the power of nerds and how much money they will spend on great movies, we might just start finally getting amazing video game games, movies, blah, 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 blah. We might finally start getting them and Assassin's Creed might be the stepping stone that is, you know, building the pyramid of amazing video game movies. And early reviews have come out and said it's pretty good. And I'm talking about just people that I follow on Twitter that have seen it today and they were like, this is freaking awesome and it fits perfectly with the Assassin's Creed universe. If you're wondering who said that, that was Melanie Mack. And you know, she's pretty fucking awesome. And I'm just gonna show you her tweet. She thought it was awesome. She's been playing the franchise games for a while, so I'm really hoping that uh, what she says is true. But I am totally hyped for this movie, and I will see it the weekend that it comes out, and more than likely do a review for you guys. Home, oh, I'm, I'm really, really hoping this is awesome, because it looks badass. I'm just hoping it's not like Suicide Squad and looks awesome and then totally blows. <laughs> Moving on to that, uh, you know, comic book company that uh, other people read called Marvel. I'm just joking. I read it too. But moving on to that uh, MCU-ness Freaking uh, James Gunn has came out and said that we will more than likely see Nova eventually. Not right now. He's not going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. If you're like, oh, maybe we're going to get a Nova cameo. Totally not going to happen. Don't hold your breath, okay? You're not going to see Nova in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, but you could be seeing him in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. For all the DC fanboys out there that know nothing about Marvel, Nova is basically like the equivalent to the Green Lantern. They have like this Nova corpse. There's a Green Lantern corpse. You know, they're both badass corpse or whatever. Although I think the Green Lanterns will kick their ass. Anyways, I am actually a big fan of Nova. I've always like, I mean, it wasn't like, I don't know too much about him, but when I was a kid, I would see his costume and be like, oh, that's awesome. And I still think it's freaking awesome. And I can't wait to see Nova 
in the MCU. I was kind of hoping he was going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, but apparently we're not going to get that. But it is awesome, and I would, I would absolutely love for James Gunn to be the person to bring Nova into this universe, since he is out in space and he's doing all that crazy shit. Also, did we kind of just get a confirmation that James Gunn is going to do, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy 3? because he said he would love to have him in other movies and now you know he kind of said he doesn't know if he's gonna do three yet but did we just get confirmation that james gunn is gonna do guardians of the galaxy 3 i think so for the last story of the day guys i want to go ahead and talk about that spider-man trailer a lot of you guys are like juice why didn't you talk about that in monday's daily dose uh because i could have sworn that came out on thursday maybe it was on friday I don't know, I thought it was just, it came out before the weekend for some reason. Anyways, I decided why not go ahead and give my thoughts on the Spider-Man trailer in this Daily Dose. I will say if you follow me on Twitter, I thought the trailer was alright. And I did think that Falcon, Falcon, Vulture, damn it, sorry. I think Vulture looks freaking awesome. And of course, he's being played by the Batman in Michael Keaton, or I should say Birdman as well. If you guys saw that movie, he's just taking on all the superhero roles. But Michael Keaton is a badass, so of course, I'm going to be watching this movie. I mean, I go and watch every freaking superhero movie the day it comes out, but I will most certainly be watching this movie the day it comes out because, you know, I like Spider-Man. Spider-Man's pretty badass. As of right now, my Spider-Man's always going to be Tobey Maguire because he was the shit. In all seriousness, the movie looks like it's going to be awesome. I thought the trailer was all right. Like, there wasn't anything that I was like, <gasps> You know, the, that ending scene where the boat's breaking apart and he's freaking holding all the damn wires, like, that reminded me so much of Spider-Man 2 with the whole train when he's, you know, trying to stop the train thing. So I was like, uh, I was like, I guess that's kind of cool. I mean, it's kind of the same thing, but whatever. Um, you know, it's just on a more massive scale this time around. I think it's going to be a good one. It seems like this takes place right after Civil War because a lot of people were pointing out how Tony Stark still has a black eye. So this must take place like days after Civil War because a black eye don't stay black for like months. I mean, unless you got hit by the Hulk or something, but you're probably dead at that point. Uh, so this must be happening like immediately after Civil War. And that's probably why you're only seeing Tony Stark and not a bunch of the other Avengers because everybody's still going to be kind of split. There's a lot of random little Easter eggs in this trailer, like that whole bank robbery scene or ATM robbery scene is pulled straight from the comic books. You can go ahead and look at that online. In the classroom, if you look at the pictures above the teacher, you see Bruce Banner there, aka Hulk. Spider-Man totally makes me feel like shit because Homeboy's got a rocking body at the age of 20 and at 20 I was still just playing video games and eating stuff in my face with pizza and stuff. So Also, there's no way that Zendaya as Mary Jane like I know they never confirmed it and some people were running away with it saying it and I don't even believe she's confirming it but there's no way she's Mary Jane I don't think they're gonna make Mary Jane I mean I know we only see her for one scene but I don't think they're gonna make her like that whole like uh too late like you know kind of like rough chick I don't think that's gonna be Mary Jane I do think she's probably gonna play Michelle Rodriguez and uh, I think that's who the character's name is I don't know but freaking you know the one Latina character in this movie they gave it to somebody that's not Latina so you know whatever typical Marvel. Chill if you take that joke seriously, although it's the truth. But this is the most diverse movie that Marvel has made. Totally props off to them. Especially since in, it's in, in high school, which is, you know, where, you know, diversity should happen a lot and people should learn how to, you know, handle things. I honestly do think that we are going to see a Mary Jane and I did cover a video a while back talking about some photos that showed a possible Mary Jane. Did I make a video about that? I think I did. I hope I did. I might have not did. Anyways, I do think we are going to get a redheaded Mary Jane. They're just not talking about that and they're gonna throw us off with this Zendaya character and this other love interest that Peter's all about and maybe we'll get Mary Jane introduced like at the end of the movie I don't know. Like I said, there are photos online of him saving a red-headed white girl, and I think that might be Mary Jane. But yeah, I'm excited for this movie. I wasn't super blown away by this trailer, but I am interested and kind of a little worried to see what they're going to do with those three villains, because they didn't show Shocker, and they didn't show... They might have showed Tinkerer. I'm not too sure. I didn't really... I didn't break this whole trailer down. Um, but I am worried about having three villains. I want to see how they're going to balance that really well because I don't know. Can you just have Shocker show up for one scene, try to rob a bank, Spider-Man beats him, and that's going to be it? I feel like he has to have a little bit more character development. I could be wrong. That's it for the Daily Dose. Let me know what you thought about any of these topics in the comment sections down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with all your juice box buddies. Remember, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for tomorrow's video if you want to know all my thoughts on that whole Harley Quinn new movie coming out make sure you hit that subscribe button for all things nerdy and geeky on this channel as always guys i'm your host juice box remember when you wake up in the morning ask yourself something if i'm a daily dose of juice see you guys next time Bye.